Michel Foucault opens the essay by stating that when certain concepts are applied to historical analysis, they result in theoretical problems. Foucault specifies the concepts that are to be applied to historical analysis. And these are concepts like discontinuity, rupture, threshold, limit. When these concepts are used in historical analysis, they present us with theoretical problems. Foucault's project is to study these theoretical problems, not study these theoretical problems everywhere, but to study these theoretical problems in a particular field. What is that field? Foucault says that the field is such that its boundaries are fuzzy, its content is vague. It is a field which can be best described as the history of ideas, the history of thought, or the history of science, or the history of knowledge. A couple of things have to be noted here. The first of these is Foucault's refusal to accept the bias towards synthesis. That is the hallmark of the Western intellectual tradition from Plato onwards. In general, Western philosophers display a tendency towards synthesis, towards glossing over differences, towards trying to identify unities, towards demonstrating that everything is, at the end of the day, just one. On the other hand, Foucault tried to focus on differences, disparities, differentiations, contradictions, conflicts. As he himself says, we have to use the concepts of discontinuity, rupture and threshold and limit. Foucault tried to demonstrate that what we think is a holistic whole is actually a battlefield of contradictions. What we think is a homogeneous compound is actually a heterogeneous mixture. What we think is one is actually many. The second thing I would like to say is that Foucault tries to carry out his applications in an area of knowledge, of experience, which is strikingly vast. Kindly note that Foucault speaks of a particular field and that field is the history of ideas or the history of thought or the history of science or the history of knowledge to use more or less his own words. Thus, Foucault accepts as his skin a huge area of knowledge, a huge area of experience. One is here reminded of Francis Bacon's, Lord Bacon's decision taken very early in his career to take all knowledge as his province. If I remember correctly, this is what Francis Bacon wrote. I have taken all knowledge to be my province. I think the same thing can be said of Foucault. He too seems to have taken all knowledge as his province. And this is one of the reasons why we say that Foucault is one of the finest thinkers, one of the greatest philosophers 
one of the most brilliant intellectuals produced by the Western world in the 20th century. Foucault's project demands that some negative work has to be done for starters. There are certain concepts that have dominated the Western intellectual tradition over the centuries. These are concepts like tradition, influence, spirit. It is said of the castle ghost that no one has seen it, but everyone fears it. These concepts are somewhat like that. They are accepted without question. They are used without question. And the consequences of this utilization are accepted as true without any analysis or evaluation. Foucault decides to subject these concepts to close examination. Tradition means the transmission of elements over time. The concept of tradition is used to give a special temporal status to a group of phenomena that are successive and identical or at least successive and similar. When there is a group of phenomena especially spread over time which display some similarities the phenomena are said to be part of a tradition. Influence is the effect that an element has on another element or more often the effect that an element has on a number of other elements. The concept of influence is used to signify an apparently causal process. Above all there is the concept of spirit. Spirit means the typical quality, the typical mood, the typical atmosphere, the typical attitude shared by a number of elements. The concept of spirit is used to establish among simultaneous or successive phenomena a community of meanings. Using the concept of spirit, symbolic links are found, apparently found, among phenomena. And the principle of unity is discovered, apparently discovered, in phenomena. Foucault says, it's high time we question these concepts. It's high time we interrogate these concepts. And when we do that, we find that these concepts are used to provide a false unity to very differing elements. These concepts are used to synthesize artificially disparate phenomena. And in our project, these concepts can never ever be used without question, without interrogation. Thus, Michel Foucault makes short work of certain cardinal concepts of the Western intellectual tradition, concepts which were centuries had been accepted as valid, as fundamental, without subjecting them to any kind of examination or any kind of interrogation.